At least one person killed and 13 others injured during a shooting at a Las Vegas hookah lounge Saturday. Kay Demanche has a story. I'm really traumatized about the whole situation. I keep on having the same flashes. Like it was, like I was never left the scene pretty much. Like I keep on picturing it. This woman didn't want to identify herself, but felt it was important to share details of how quickly a fun night at Manny's Glow After Dark turned deadly. We was just partying and all of a sudden it was gunshots and everybody started scattering everywhere and the guns kept on being shot off. The woman says she didn't see where the shots were coming from or who was firing, but she fell to the ground. I didn't see it. I just heard it. Don't even know which way it was coming from at all. It was just, you just hear the, the pop, pop, pop noise. I was hidden behind the booth. And then after that, that's whenever, once they finally was done shooting, that's when I um, came out and to get around and seeing people lay down on the ground. Police say there was a party inside the hookah lounge when a fight between two men broke out. Investigators say there were at least two shooters exchanging gunfire. We estimate currently there were 14 people that were shot during this incident. They were transported to various hospitals to include UMC and Sunrise Hospital. Unfortunately, one of those victims has died and two remain in critical condition. This woman says one of the victims was her friend's mom. She's in critical condition after getting shot twice in the back. She says she went to middle school with the man who died. He was a fun, cool guy, funny, just like with everybody else. He was not involved in the shooting at all. Authorities believe there may have been two shooters involved in the incident, both of which got away from the scene. Investigators have been interviewing the victims and are working to get surveillance video from businesses in the area.